Well, hello guys, here's a news item for you. I'll put the link down below. Now, this is an actual problem in my area where I am. In fact, all along the south coast of the UK. And this happens to be in Cornwall. And apparently this small town area has a nice park. But dogs are banned from going into the park. And if they go into the park with a dog, they get a thousand pound fine. Now, you may think that's a bit steep. But the reason for taking dogs for walks, and there's millions and millions of people doing it, is so the dog can go poo or pee. And the secondary thing is exercise. And even though some people actually pick it up, well, they do if people are around, sometimes they don't if there's nobody there. It leaves a residue, doesn't it? And what happens when the dog has the runs, which happens a lot in dogs? How do you pick that up? And that wouldn't be too bad if it was one or two dogs, but there are thousands of them. There's too many dogs in the south coast. Some people actually own three dogs. And it's mostly generally femons who have the amount of dogs. And it's probably to replace the children that are left home now and they need something to replace them. Now, I myself have nothing against dogs. I like dogs better than people. But it's the amount of dogs there is. You go anywhere, in any green grass anywhere, and there'll be five or six dog walkers there already. Some people like to go for a walk. But then when they see somebody coming towards them with a dog, they don't want the dog to be sniffing their trousers or shoes or something. They just want a nice walk. But they can't get it because of the dog walkers everywhere. Anyway, these people live in a certain area. They get fined a thousand pounds if they go into the park area or trying to change the law so they can go in the park area. Of course, most all of them are all femons. Like the two in the thumbnail here. Look at the dog there with a bow in its hair. Is that really a dog or a baby replacement? And most dogs about nowadays are not really dogs at all. They're an accessory, like a handbag. And here's another picture with the bow in the dog's hair and this other dog, which looks more like a dog, but probably doesn't even know he's a dog, probably pampered so much, treated like a child. And here's another picture of the group that's protesting the fines. And I think you'll see six femons there and three men. Looks like there's a couple of real dogs there, like that border collie there. I like them. And what these people are protesting, mostly femons, is they have to go for a long way to take the dog for a walk. Well, in that case, you shouldn't have had a dog then. Anyway, there's 6,000 people in the area, and only 200 people actually thought about removing the ban. And the council said that isn't enough. And it wouldn't be, would it? And I think there should be new laws in the UK for dogs, because they're becoming a pandemic. First of all, there should be just one dog per family. And you should have to get a license and make sure you're competent to look after this dog. There are lots of people who just go for a walk and get attacked by somebody else's dog or even bitten. I mean, I myself like dogs, but I never have one in the UK. There's just not enough room. You see these areas in the UK and even in my area where there's green grass, sort of a small strip of it at the side of the road, you know, on the sidewalk and it's been covered in poop and piss. And most of it's from dogs. Well, you know, I think it's all from dogs. I think. And that's a daily routine. Even if they pick it up, there's residue there, time and time again. It can't be very clean. And it seems to be gone are the days where you get a mutt. You know, a Heinz 57. These are all designer dogs. Probably a thousand to fifteen hundred and even more. They're accessories, not real dogs. But it's usual with femons, they want something and they try to get everybody else involved so they can get what they want. And I hope the area stays firm on this. Some of you may not quite understand it because you're from the United States or Canada or whatever and there's plenty of room there for dogs. It's not a problem. But the UK is small, congested, with very many people everywhere. And sometimes I think there's more dogs than people here. Anyway guys, let me know what you think about the idea I like dogs myself. I think they're great. But I'm a realistic as well. And they have become a pandemic, just like the seagulls have, who are pests and a nuisance now. Do you know I'm surprised these femons didn't take their tops off? I mean, they they are protesting something, aren't they? (laughs) Come to think of it, they're quite old, aren't they? Be like a rock and a sock. You take it easy, fellas.